Welcome back. My next sexy guest has lived in the African wild with a pride of lions and has also raised tiger cubs in his apartment. Now he's about to meet a hungry cougar. <laughs> Take a look at him in action. If these lions couldn't be taught to take it easy, they'd be taken out. I decided to go all the way in. I'd live with them all day. You can see me, I can see you. Every day. Showering with a bucket that you ate your food out of. And night for six straight months. Please welcome Animal Planet's large predator expert, the wildly gorgeous Dave Salmoni. Hi, doll. How are you? Thank you. Come on over here. So. so how are you? <laughs> I'm great. Thank you and welcome. Thank you. This looks great. Thank you. Let's just get one thing settled right away. Are you single or married? <laughs> <laughs> single. Definitely okay. single. Very good. I've dated a lot of talk show hosts as well. So Really? <laughs> I don't mind being a notch in your belt, All baby. Right. Okay, when did you realize that you were kind of had this affinity for wild animals and stuff? I think my affinity, my love for animals is really early. Like even like two years old, I was into animals and then like as I got older I wanted to be a zoologist, but didn't really know what that was. Uh, but it was only really after my first degree that I was realizing, oh, this actually can be a career. A zoology degree. My first degree was zoology, yep. And uh, it was sort of one of those things where I sort of went How about to... animal husbandry? <laughs> <laughs> I did that after university. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, but it was sort of one of those things where I went to university just to party, and then I realized I really liked animals, and then decided, okay, this can be a career. So explain to people what an animal wrangler is. It's like, uh, so if you see an animal on a commercial shoot or a, a TV show or a movie, you know, I'm the guy that brings there and makes sure the animals are happy and healthy and taken care of and stuff like that. And I mm -hmm. make them sit up and look nice. Okay, now tell me about, he did like this incredibly sexy uh, photo shoot for a <laughs> magazine called Flaunt, which if I... <laughs> Oh, wow, yeah, that's... Ladies, it is like beyond off the scale. Look at these pictures. I didn't know we get that familiar this quick. Oh, my God. That yeah. is unbelievable. Now, do you have to work out to get a body like that? I work out because... L let the... me see. Can you... <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking for? <laughs> <laughs> oh. can oh, yeah, I, can show, I can show you a little sleeve. Can you give us a little oh. peek <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I have to work out because I, obviously some of the stuff I do with the animals, I'm always planning for in case of an attack. Yeah, so, so you have to be very strong and powerful. And fast and agile and whatever else it has to be, it's sort of, you have to fight off an attack. So, the odd okay, attack. I don't know, you know, I'm finding this very sexy, I have to say. Oh, wow, I like um, that. And the fact that you're a zoologist means that you've got a little bit going on upstairs, I try too. try to hide that fact a little bit. You do? No, I'm just <laughs> Because I think that the brain is the sexiest organ, but if you got a body to match, I'm not complaining. <laughs> you brought some animals. I did. So, uh, why don't we uh, right. get going you with the animals. You have that cute little dog that was, hey, No, I didn't want her to be guy. anybody's dinner. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. What yeah. is this? Called this is a kinkajou. A kinkajou. Come here, buddy. A kinkajou, not to be confused with here. a kinka gentile. There you go, buddy. Take that. You don't okay. Want it? Oh, you don't look want that? No. at this. No. Come on up. Look at this. Can I you say You can pet hello? him, but he'll, he'll probably. Watch he'll probably nip down me. There okay. And give him a banana. See how a that banana, banana goes. Mm. See if he'll hang him up. Look at down that. Now you can oh, see here. Isn't that delicious? I'm not being mean. What's his name? Uh, this one's Forrest. Forrest, oh, oh yeah. my goodness, look at this now, Forrest little, has a pre look at his little tail hands. Tail oh, now yeah. he's got, uh, you know, does he have an opposing thumb? Yeah, we well, can see that little guy there. That's his little thumb yeah, there. Yeah, sweetie, he'll, look, he'll, he's he'll got his little food. hand on my hand. <laughs> oh, is this adorable. Do you like banana? <laughs> Do you <laughs> like banana? Oh, look at this. Does he like boy. his belly scratch? Yeah, I don't think. I don't know. You try it. If he oh, likes it, he'll let you do it if he likes it. Watch him. Give him a grape there. Mm -hmm. Here, buddy. Oh, oh look at that little good. Look you at give how cute he is. Yeah. <laughs> Not on the furniture. Not on the furniture. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. That's a good thing. Wow. That's a healthy thing. <laughs> All right, buddy. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, buddy. Oh, sweetie, yeah, don't be embarrassed. Ways. All right, good boy. It's All okay. Right. All right, good boy. Do we have any spot yeah, cleaner? I'll, I'll, get some, I'll get somebody out here to look at all the Maybe clean now you need to take the shoes, the top, and the yeah. pants <laughs> off. <laughs> Wow! Oh, Who Come would on. have thought an animal this small would have a bladder that big? <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on, real quick. What wild beast do you have for us next? My next little guy is one of my favorites. It's a little leopard cub. A leopard cub. Mm. Oh, my God. You oh. know, the elusive leopard. Absolutely. These guys are tough to find. I mean, obviously, you Very. know, you've been in South Africa, you've been on safari. Yes, I, so I did see a leopard. Oh, oh my goodness. Do, I cannot believe how lucky I am. Look this is the greatest part about being a talk show host. Oh, okay. I have Sweet. always wanted to be able to. Oh, my darling. Oh, my now, last time I was in South Africa, uh, the leopard is considered one of the big five, but we didn't see one. Yeah, they're so hard to see because they are oh, so listen, elusive. Listen, little guy. Is this a girl or a boy? It's a little boy. Oh, you sweet thing. Oh, and it has, yeah. like, blue eyes, which I'm yeah. surprised when, about. When they're born. They're born, they have blue oh. eyes, and then they'll get darker. He's How only about, old is this He's one? only about eight weeks old. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. You want to grab Where's him? Watch your mama? clothes. His mom's at a nice little zoo somewhere. And oh. Unfortunately, a lot of times in captivity, um, new moms, and his was a first, it's okay, first litter. Okay, sweetie, mom is um, here. <laughs> new moms oh. don't know how to take care of. Oh, okay, oh, it's all right, buddy. Oh my darling. Watch your face, because he's now hissing a little bit. He okay. may come and give you a little teeth in the face, okay, which is a little fun. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, you can have him let's sit there. Let's see. Can you stay here? So yeah, his mom didn't nurse him, so we had to take him out and make sure that he was nursed. And, and what is the future of. for this animal? This guy's gonna be what they call an education animal. So he'll go around and uh, as much as he wants oh. to work with people, he'll be um, he'll be like teaching people about conservation. So he'll be captive born, captive bred, stay and you know, be taken care of as best as he can, but then obviously try and use him to spread the good word. Uh-huh. So, but he's never going to be like uh, uh, in a circus or anything No, no, never like going to be that. in a circus. When I say like, a, you know, when you have an animal in captivity, you have to challenge their brain. Boredom is the number one problem with captive animals. So mm. we do have them in our hands. We do have to take care of them best we can. The number one thing you can do to do that is to train them. So you bring them out and teach them different things, show them different things, and that it makes their day it exciting. It stimulates them. Yeah, so this type of stuff, you may say, oh, you know, maybe they don't want, like to do this stuff. This is great for him because he doesn't have to stay in his little cage, hang out with his mom. Oh, I you know, love this little guy. He's very um, calm. You can read in his body that he's having a great time fur. with you. Eventually... It's okay, let me grab him from you. Oh, so, really? Why? Do you sense something's well, he, happening? Well, gave you a little snarl, uh -oh. which means if, 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 basically they'll tell you when they're happy or unhappy. So that and little then, grunting sound? Yeah, so he was snarling at you for some reason, and then, so, you what know, if you don't do? listen, then, um, Okay, you know, grumpy. So, because I don't know yet how to read those it, sounds it, like you do. Yeah, it's not even just that. I like, mean, Esther, I know her whole language. Yeah, exactly. And then he's just a baby, so like a lot of times he'll be like, I want to do something different. I want to do something different. So anyway, Dave, I cannot thank you enough. This Thanks has been so special. Me. It's really been a fantasy of mine to be able to oh, do great. this and to be able to have you sitting so close <laughs> to me. That's a different you, fantasy. <laughs> tell me about it. <laughs> uh, you can... <laughs> You can see the cute Dave Salmoni on Animal Planet's Into the Pride. When we come back, my next guest is a singer with a voice that makes me swoon. And you're going to hear it next. Don't go away. We'll be right back.